I'm Adam Dickinson. I'm a real estate appraiser in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada, and I'm also involved with some nonprofit housing and affordable housing initiatives. I think these two areas intersect in some interesting ways and want to put together this video series to discuss that. Uh, one topic to consider when addressing how affordable housing programs or nonprofit housing uh, can play a factor or play a role in market value analysis is considering uh, renovation affordability programs such as RAP, which is the Rental Residential Rehabilitation Assistance Program in Canada. A program like RAP or again any other type of program that assists affordable housing renovations can impact uh, market value in some uh, interesting ways. For a bit of background, this sort of program uh, provides for major renovation issues if there's systems such as electrical or plumbing or roofing or any other major livability system issues in an apartment building. It allows for funding or loan guarantees uh, to address those issues if there are low income residents in a building and the landlord is willing to set uh, a particular affordable rent. So in considering how this might impact value, it would be useful to address three questions. One question, the first one, would be, are renovation costs reflective of actual uh, value changes? Two, how would the guaranteed lower rents impact value? And three, uh, how will maintenance costs differ for a building like this than for a you know typical building in a similar neighborhood, similar uh, type of building? Addressing question one, are renovation costs uh, determinant of value changes. So if someone spends $10,000 renovating a building, is the building worth $10,000 more? Not always. Uh, if renovations involve taking out something that still had a bit of useful life, then you're replacing, let's say, something with $1,000 with something that is worth $10,000. So if you're taking out uh, some heaters that still have a little bit of life left and replace them with brand new heaters, you're not necessarily going to recoup all of your money. On the other hand, if uh, a property has building code violations that have made it so that it's not occupiable, spending that sort of money to make it occupiable again could have a pretty substantial impact on value. Question two, how will lower rents impact market value? If a landlord was able to rent an apartment for $700 and he agrees to rent it for $650, he's going to have lower income, right? Well. Let's consider this. If you have a newly renovated building where the apartments are renting to low-income residents at a lower rate than typical in the market, won't vacancy be somewhat lower? Of course, agreeing to accept a lower rent could create income issues. A decrease in vacancy could offset this. Additionally, if you hadn't been able to renovate your building with a program that assisted with renovations, perhaps your rents and vacancy wouldn't have uh, even been an issue because you would have had far higher vacancies and far lower rents. Question three, how will maintenance costs differ for this sort of building? If you live in a, a building like mine, 100 years old plus, and you see a bunch of similar buildings on the street, you probably think they'd all have similar maintenance needs. However, if a renovation assistance program allows a landlord to fix electrical, plumbing, windows, and roof, she might be able to, on a monthly basis, spend less dealing with the problems that are associated with older electrical, plumbing, windows, and roofing. If expenses on a building are lower, net income can be higher, and this could have an impact on market value. Those are some thoughts on how a program designed to encourage renovations of low-income housing can impact property values. I'm going to have some more videos about how market value and affordable housing programs intersect. If you find these interesting, please come back and see more. Thank you very much.